Okay, so luckily we've got some very clever kids here because I've got some questions for you that I need you to help me with. So we today are going to think about one of the Psalms, which is a kind of a song or a poem in the middle of the book. And the first question he talks about in the Psalm, David talks about is, who does the world and the universe and everything belong to? Does anyone know that? Heidi, you know that. To God? That's right. The world and everything in it. So everything you can see belongs to God. So Levi, who do the stars belong to? God, you're right. Percy Wan, who do the trees belong to? Well done, Percy, that is exactly right. Alice, who do you belong to? (laughs) Yes, you do. And who does mummy belong to? Does, can anyone think, Bride, do you know who do you belong to? To God, that's right. So everything we can see and everything in the whole entire universe and everyone belongs to God. Now the second question that David is asking us in this psalm is, well, then who can go and talk to him if he is so big and so powerful and so mighty that everyone and everything belongs to him? Who can just walk up to him and talk to him? That seems a bit much, doesn't it? So the answer to that question is what's coming up in a few weeks' time? What are we going to celebrate in a few weeks' time? Christmas. That's right. And what happened at Christmas? Alice, whose birthday is it at Christmas? Jesus, you said. That's right. It's Jesus' birthday. So when Jesus was here, he said something to us, which is written down in the Bible. He said, he is the way and the truth and the life, and no one comes to the Father except through him. So Jesus is the, these are the three things I want you to remember today. Jesus is the way and the truth and the life, and no one comes to God except through him. So that's why we're going to be so happy at Christmas time, because God, who is so big and so powerful and so wonderful, and we all belong to him, has given us a way to come to him. So since Jesus is the way and the truth and the life, that means if we love Jesus and we trust him, then we can come to God whenever we want. And he is the way to God. He is the truth about how to get to God. And he is the way to eternal life. So Heidi, what are the three words you're going to remember? Jesus is the way. Yep. Yep. Well done, Heidi Stewart. That's right. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And no one can come to God except through him. So at Christmas time, we're going to be very excited about presents and candy canes and Christmas trees and singing songs. But most of all, we're going to be excited because God has given us a way to be his friend. And Jesus is the truth and he will give us life. So they're the things I want you to remember. So while you're doing your sheets, there's a few things to find about Psalm 24. There's all the words that are in that psalm. You could even look up the psalm, which is right in the middle of your Bible for the very clever readers among us. There's some colouring in for the kids that like colouring in. I know Millie will be here at the next one and she loves to do colouring in. And then there's some Christmas pictures to help you remember what happened at Christmas. Jesus came and he is the way, the truth and the life. So let's pray together now, kids. If you want to close your eyes or put your hands together, whatever you need to do to concentrate, we'll say a little prayer to God. Dear God, thank you that you are the king, mighty and powerful, and we all belong to you. And thank you for Christmas, that you have given us a way to come to you and be your friend. And thank you that we can be your friend through Jesus. Amen.